Here's meteorologist Patrick Crawford, live from Storm Center 2. Brought to you by Tundra Land, sunrooms, baths, and replacement windows. Hi everyone and welcome back. Starting out your Storm Center 2 forecast with a look at the weather headlines. It is May, but not feeling that way tonight. Well below normal temperatures in the forecast. And we're going to be below freezing for an extended period of time. So that means a freeze warning, which has been issued by the National Weather Service from midnight all the way until 8 a.m. for your Monday. But after the cold start, I think it's going to be a mild Monday with sunshine and high temperatures getting close to our average high, which is 63 for this time of the year. As far as active weather, we should be quiet for the start of the work week. I think we could see maybe a spotty shower chance on Wednesday and then higher rain chances will be getting here by the end of the work week and into the start of the next upcoming weekend. But here's a look at all the areas that are included with this freeze warning. That's the purple shading that you're seeing here on the map. That light blue shading out to the west and southwest. That's the frost advisory. We had that last night and early this morning, but now we're dealing with the freeze warning where temperatures are going to be below freezing for an extended period of time. Temperatures already dropping very quickly. We've got three ingredients that are working against us tonight. We've got a clear sky. Take a look at the latest conditions. This is the temperatures and then also the sky conditions. We've got a clear sky in Marinette, clear in Oconto, clear in Green Bay. So we've got that clear sky. So temperatures are going to be cooling very quickly. We also have low humidity and the lower the humidity that also adds to the quickness of the temperatures dropping and then we have light winds. And so therefore that means that air is going to continue to fall as far as the air temperature into the morning. So I think low temperatures likely very close to 30 degrees for most of the area. But even up north, we're looking at temperatures down into the low to mid 20s to begin Monday. So it's going to be a very cold start for this time of the year. We know it can get colder here in Green Bay and northeast Wisconsin, but it is going to be a cold start for this time of the year tomorrow morning. But let's talk about some good news as we examine your high temperature trend over the next seven days. We're going to continue to stay near that average high of 63 for the work week and even into the start of the weekend. But look at the adjustment I've made to the end of the weekend forecast. I'm going to go with 70 as that high temperature on Sunday. So some much warmer weather is on the way and it looks like it'll be here by the end of next weekend. Satellite radar is up on the screen right now. We are mostly clear. We'll continue with those clear sky conditions for the rest of the night. We're also very dry, very low humidity all across the area. And again, those are the ingredients that I was talking about that are going to allow those temperatures to cool down below freezing for most of the region. I'm going to go with a range of about 25 to 34 degrees, 34 right there along the lake shore, but the rest of the area in the 20s and low 30s. Protect those cold sensitive plants. Bring them indoors if you can into the garage, into the shed, whatever you got to do to protect that vegetation because the temperatures are going to be a very cold to begin your Monday. I'm going to go 28 in Shano and we'll pack a 32 in Appleton and right down to 31 degrees in Green Bay. We'll start out with sunshine for your Monday, maybe some stray cloud cover into the late afternoon. I think most of the rain for your Monday is going to stay just west of the viewing area. If we do get a raindrop within some of the clouds, that's going to be about it. I think most of the rain is going to stay to the west, but we've got the freeze warning for tonight. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, though, very mild, getting up into the low 60s for most of the viewing area. And then I mentioned it already in our high temperature trend forecast, the warmer weather that's on the way for next weekend. We will have some rain chances Friday and Saturday, but at least those temperatures will continue to go up. Nice to see a 70 there on the seven day, even though, Andrea, it's at the end of the seven day, but it is on the way. Warmer weather, it's on the way. We know it's coming, and it looks like next weekend is when we'll start to feel it. 70 on the seven day. There you go. Thanks, Patrick.